Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You might notice that I don't have my usual captions on the screen, so this is a kind of voice reveal. But my main focus for today is uh, to make a video on the differences between Neon Tetras and Cardinal Tetras, the differences between them, and my opinion on which one you should consider buying. Stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy. some quick facts about Neon Tetras and Cardinal Tetras. Around 2 million Neon Tetras are produced each month in the United States alone. They come from Colombia, Peru, and Brazil. Neon Tetras grow to be about 3 centimeters or 1.2 inches, and Cardinal Tetras grow to be about 5 centimeters or 2 inches. So, Cardinal Tetras and Neon Tetras are both massively important fish in the aquarium industry. It's very common to own Neon Tetras. I remember, I think, one of my first aquariums, I had Neon Tetras. And I know a lot of people had Neon Tetras as their first fish. And you know, when, you, when you walk into an aquarium store, it's very common to see your betta fish, your guppies, and your Neon Tetras. Cardinal Tetras, not as much so, but the numbers, like, they're coming more and more into the stores. And yeah, so because Neon Tetras are more popular, the breeders and the people who are, you know, providing Neon Tetras for chains of pet stores and fish stores, uh, they often, they sell fish in, pounds because like it's a large quantity they're not been doing separate numbers but because the fish are being sold in such massive quantities and in large groups all like in the compact space together uh, the, the diseases are being spread and the genes are getting weaker and weaker and this is why a lot of people now like to buy cardinal tetras more because obviously they're not as common and you know these genes are not getting weakened and like you can help prevent this so what are the differences between neon tetras and cardinal tetras the the fish at the top is a cardinal tetra and the fish at the bottom is a neon tetra so as you can see the the cardinal tetra has a red stripe that goes that covers uh, his whole his whole body length from the bottom, and the neon tetra has a red stripe that only goes around halfway. So that is one difference that you can spot. And another one is that cardinal tetras are slightly larger than neon tetras. So in summary, neon tetras are more common than cardinal tetras, which does make them cheaper. But I think uh, that, if possible, you should go and buy the Cardinal Tetra. Now, I'm not saying that you like you shouldn't get the Neon Tetra. They're both great fish, and if you do happen to buy any, make sure to keep them in a school of at least seven in a 10-gallon tank. However, if you would like a fish with stronger genes, I would suggest the Cardinal Tetra. Thanks for watching until the end. I hope you enjoyed.